And today we're going to be covering the end user's application of Salesforce for Outlook, how to get it, how to check your configurations, and how to set up your email to Salesforce settings. So as Eric here, we will go ahead and go to Setup. And then under Personal Setup, we're going to first go to Email and My Email to Salesforce. And we're going to make sure that we are set up correctly so that I can send emails to Salesforce. I have a choice here. First off, your, ad, your email address does have to be in here so that Salesforce knows that it's a proper email address to accept emails from. And when emails are sent to Salesforce, do you want to send them all to your unresolved items, or do you want to automatically assign them to related Salesforce records? When it's set for automatic, please keep in mind that the not only the to field, but the CC field and the BCC field will be checked. And so on contacts and leads, if there are, say you send an email to both Frank and Bill at Acme, then both of those records are going to have this email associated to them. So if you do set automatic or send them to your unresolved items, then you go into Salesforce yourself and manually tell Salesforce what records you want your emails associated to. So for leads and contacts, you can, if duplicate records are found, you can tell which one you want to assign it to. Usually the record with the most activity is fine. If no records are found, then it will be sent to your unresolved items, whether or not this is checked. So if the email address matches in either the to, the BCC, or the CC fields, all of those people will have that email associated to it. Opportunities, here's something you have to be careful with. If, in, if you attach it to opportunities as well automatically with this checkbox, then any contact that is in the contact roles related list of an opportunity, and that can be multiple, that email is associated with all of the open opportunities. So if that contact is a contact role for a primary on one opportunity and maybe a buyer on two others, that email you send is going to automatically be associated to all of those opportunities. So theoretically, you could have multiple contacts that you're emailing to with multiple opportunities. That one email will be associated to all of those records. So you may want to consider using sending them to my unresolved items. Unresolved items also allows you to associate emails to cases, um, accounts, or any custom object in Salesforce. So any standard or custom object, you can associate the email by sending it to the unresolved items. It's a manual process, but it gives you more flexibility. Please keep that in mind when making these choices. You also have the ability to always save email attachments. It's either an on or off. And please remember that email attachments can be no more than 5 megabytes in size and a total of 10 megabytes for all attachments. And that includes logos. So if you have email logos in your email or somebody else's email, those will be added as well. Then you can set yourself up to email a confirmation of association. I'm not too crazy about this one because what it does is when you send the email and you click send and add in Outlook, it in turn sends you an email back that it was associated. So you may want to have it on just for like a week or so to make sure everything is associating properly, but most people will come back and turn this off. Once you have set up your settings, then be sure to save them. And now you can go to desktop integration and Salesforce for Outlook, and you can download the version, and the installer will walk you right through putting it into your Outlook. Please be sure that your Outlook is uh, not running at the time when you install it. You can also view your configuration that your administrator has set up for you. And I belong to a group here where I am syncing contacts and I'm also syncing events where the date is greater or equal to the last 30 days, and tasks. So this tells me how I'm syncing. If you do need to make any changes here, you will need to contact your administrator. 
Thank you and have a great day.